Hey, I'm Brandon. Have you heard of the time St. Nicholas lost his cool? No, not that St. Nick. Mr. Holly Jolly himself. Well, Holly Jolly unless you're getting his way on Black Friday. And while Santa Claus may have morphed into legend, he was based on a real person. St. Nicholas of Myra, a bishop from the 4th century. Get around and I'll tell you the tale. Ahem. <clears throat> Twas the night before Nicaea, and St. Nick had a list. The words of a heretic, and boy was he pissed. Christ was created by God? He didn't always exist? Arius demeaned the Lord, that son of a bitch. For all throughout Rome, many people did fight. Over the Bible itself, and who got it right? They told the emperor the beliefs they did tout. He summoned the church to sort this stuff out. And thus the council began, where things quickly got tense. When Arius shared his doctrines, and why they made sense. His rivals roared back, what a bunch of bull. For the father and son are both God in full. The debate raged on till at last had St. Nick. Heard more than enough from this blasphemous prick. He delivered a present, a big fistful of coal. St. Nick decked his halls and yelled, shut your pie hole. Constantine wagged his finger and said, oh no you didn't. He called for his guards and to jail old Nick went. There he made a plea. If they sprung his locks, he'd give gifts to kids, hiding them in socks. Since Nick vowed to be good for goodness sake, Jesus appeared with mom. They said cut him a break. That sign did the trick, and St. Nick was freed. Now we've got Christmas, and the Nicene Creed. Thanks for watching Brandonica. If you like this video, then subscribe for more. Until next time, see ya.